Anne Zougar, Associate Professor at the University of Bordeaux and a member of Working Group in uh, Engineering Science Department, uh, leading transformation of master programs towards uh, the era of Industry 4.0. Well, uh, in my opinion, uh, the main trends that are driving today the Industry 4.0 uh, evolution uh, is the economic context. Uh, previously, the cost, quality and delay uh, were the main targets addressed by the companies when they were leading uh, transformation and optimization. Though today, uh, new distinctive objectives are reshaping companies' targets. Uh, so we attend today to uh, providing services, for example, ensuring customization, more and more references, ensuring a reconfigurable system to sustain these uh, customization. We attend also to improve the ecological impact. So we really um, perceive that there is a new also aspect to consider in the economic context to lead concomitantly uh, digital, ecological, and societal transformations. And obviously, with the arrival of new technologies and uh, global market offers from, I would say, digital solutions, we attend to such uh, many uh, choice and too many tools that today the specialists and the managers, engineers, ought to learn about have to know in order to do the best choice and to lead the best implementation in the relevant moment. So therefore, uh, I think that today the global environment of the whole supply chain is really reshaped by this new economic context and with the arrival of new technologies. Uh, and uh, obviously, if we are able to grasp this opportunity, uh, we are able in the future uh, to build this industry 4.0 with uh, remote activities, uh, digital control and reconfigurable systems and workshops in order to lead production global optimization. Well, the project I'm involved in, in the uh, engineering department, uh, is to build up new directions for our master programs uh, to fit market requirements and bring closer the addressed topics in the program with the industrial real issues. So there is obvious necessity to train uh, a generation of specialists to reinforce engineers' backgrounds, uh, yet very shy, uh, to get familiar with those technologies. Uh, beside the training of technologies of Industry 4.0 and the lean production fundamentals, the target is to address also the possible association becomes uh, important today because we have to know how to combine them in a global target. And the recent study that I lead with my PhD student Ilse Orkia discloses the best practices uh, of big groups such as Schneider, Bosch, Dassault and Thales. And the common access that we observed is that the implementation of lean to ensure the efficiency of processes as a prerequisite could be an interesting point to start by. Then include the layer of technologies in order to reinforce the global performance optimization. Well, uh, solutions uh, could be clarify the targets of graduation in various master programs, uh, build the content to reinforce the understanding of the technologies that are taking important part in optimizing production and logistics, consolidate the background, uh, often theoretical, with the study cases in order to increase the strength of the trainees. I have built pedagogical study cases with two industrial colleagues from uh, automotive industry, Forestia Group, uh, and from uh, aeronautic industry, uh, namely Thales Group. And uh, today, those two case studies are mandatory in our master program to gain experience facing a real case situation of, of production optimization, thanks to the lean and industry 4.0 in the same time. Uh, those elements uh, helps to push towards the labor market uh, specialists able to rethink their organization, 
to reshape the configuration of the different workshops and reinforce the processes and the efficiency of the various, uh, I would say, nodes of the supply chain. Uh, and to finish, I would say also that Industry 4.0 deployment uh, is certainly a challenge deserving concentration of our efforts, uh, though it ought to be gradual. Uh, Foresia called it a test and learn process because they just test and check gradually. Schneider call it step-by-step -step transformation. Bosch merely talk about uh, evolution rather than transformation. So even if the technologies are really disruptive because they are bringing the new knowledges and best open a new technological layer background, the transformation of the era in Industry 4.0 should be gradual and progressive.